Welcome to the quarantine. Anyone who comes to visit needs to put on a hazmat suit upon entering the house. He's obviously unable to speak clearly any longer. It's time for... <laughs> It's time for neighborhood community <laughs> shout outs. <sighs> Bo is just taking no chances. <laughs> he doesn't want to get sick. He can't afford to uh, lose any more meat off his bones. Okay. <clears throat> Got a few. Uh, Shout outs before we move on to, to the the questions. Haley Fields, welcome to the neighborhood. Hannah May, welcome to the neighborhood. Jack Salmon started his own channel and started doing some videos, so make sure you guys go by and check out his videos. Ashley and Sassy, welcome back, girl. We sure missed you. Congratulations, she found out that she's having a baby boy. When you doing? Do you have names picked out? Okay. Randy, Randall Williams. Welcome to the neighborhood. Mary Weather. I just watched a whole bunch of her videos. You guys got to go check her out. She has this rescue thing, I think it is, with bunny rabbits. And she just had a birthday party for one of her bunny rabbits. So, you guys need to go check it out. Very awesome channel. Robert Wright. We need thoughts and prayers, guys. His aunt just passed away. We're so sorry for your loss, Robert. And we will be keeping you and your entire family in our thoughts and prayers. And if we can ask the community to do so as well. We would greatly appreciate that. My question yesterday was, what did you have or could you get 10 years ago that you can no longer get today? Angie Lupus Life says a girlfriend. You could still get a girlfriend. Come on, girl, you're hot. You could still get a girlfriend. Can I get a girlfriend? You have me. You don't need a girlfriend. <laughs> Tanya Longley agrees with Melody. Mainville Moms Vlog 80, cassette tapes and players. It's also getting <coughs> difficult to find blank VCR tapes. But Terry Johnson says you can find those at Walgreens still. So if you have a Walgreens around, you can uh, get them at, at Walgreens. Tanya also says her very first computer, a Commodore 64. I remember those. Floppy disk drive. I remember Zork. Play Zork. <laughs> but that was a little more than 10 years ago, she says. That's probably 30 years ago. Yeah. Greg Myers, shout out to you. His brother's, his, his brother's girlfriend is going to be having a baby girl, they just found out. So congratulations on that. Cool. Jack Sam Salmon said 10 years ago, he had good vision. Now he doesn't have good vision, so he's missing his vision. Uh, Crimson Fairy, Night Blooming Jasmine, perfume and cologne, or perfume. Um, Bath and Body Works used to carry it, but they don't make it anymore. Terry Johnson says she can't find her favorite cologne any longer, which was Love's Lemon. <laughs> Is it Love's a Lemon or Love's Lemon? It says Love's Lemon. Loves lemon. She's trying to make it clear. Loves lemon. Bambi S says that she misses the soup plantation, which was a really nice restaurant. I really liked that place too. And Record Warehouse. Pretty good stores. Doug E. Style said he misses Star Trek TV series. There has always been from the next generation until the end of Enterprise, there has always been a Star, a Star Trek TV show on at least once a week. Not anymore. Come on, Paramount. Make it so. Trans Am Girly 
said tube TVs, but she doesn't miss those. Nope. She, she got her first tube TV style iMac in the early 2000s. I remember those. Cassettes <laughs> were, are gone, and CDs are almost faded out as well. Her 11 year her 11 year old Durango still has an old fashioned six disc changer and no MP3 port or USB plug and ashtrays no longer in cars. And the last one is the Abyss 92882. What I was able to find 10 years ago that I can't find now his brain. I can feel you on that one. That's for sure. Yup. Yup, yup. Okay, so what do you, what are you... You know what I'm really missing from about 10 years ago? Actually, it's longer than 10 years ago. But uh, there was something that came out of Canada. It was called Clearly Canadian. It was a drink, a carbonated drink. I loved it. It was delicious. It was only here in California for maybe six months, and then it just disappeared. And I know it still exists, because I, I can find them on the Internet. But you can't get them here. I, I mean, there's lots of things, but I can't think of one thing in particular that... Mm. Actually, you know what? And, and it is still around, but it's just not that popular. Is photography cameras. Film cameras. Film cameras, yeah. 35 millimeter cameras. Yeah. I mean, because I used to like... I, t I took uh, photography in school and, and was learning how to develop my own f pictures and everything. And I kind of miss that. I kind of miss that. Okay, my question for tonight is, <coughs> if you were to start your own business, what would it be and what would you name it? It's time for Neighborhood Community Polar Bear Credit Roll. We're both wearing polar bear hats today because we're sick. Uh, yesterday, our movie was uh, Cemeterio de Terror, uh, which was released in this country as Zombie Apocalypse back in 85, which was confused with Zombie Apocalypse, I think, 2012. It was a um, movie done in Mexico, basically stole everything from everybody. It has a little Halloween in it, it has a little zombie in it, it has a little Michael Jackson, uh, guys with mullets, you know, just the whole cheesy teenage um, um, horror film uh, from the 80s. And um, so that a lot of people assume this because the director didn't think uh, he was going to get a chance to make another one. So we just threw everything into this one. So, I would love to see it. I would just love to see it because it sounds so campy. Um, and the only people who actually tried was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and Bambi S gave it a good try, but she missed. Yay! Yay! Okay. Uh, tonight's is, is about a movie from 20, 2003 called House of a Thousand Corpses <coughs> by Rob Zombie. It's his first movie. Uh, it was actually filmed in 2000, but he had a hard time getting it released because of the gore factor. And the um, interesting thing about the movie is a large majority of the characters are named after characters from a movie series from the 30s. What movie series uh, was that? <coughs> you. There's your trivia question <laughs> for tonight. <laughs> you are all hey. Uh, you can't wear that on your head. We go bed now. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. Thumbs up. We love you all very, very much. Be sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. Uh, and we will see you, hopefully, tomorrow. Bye.